Go to YouTube. I'm back with another. Ah, I keep on forgetting. My damn shit is dead. Um, I'm I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do a freestyle. Um, I probably might do two freestyles. I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably do two. Nah, you know I'll probably do one. Uh, cause I was gonna I was gonna do another one with 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 the beat, but since my damn tablet's dead. I'm just gonna have to go Rockapella again. Or Acapella again. I said Rockapella again. Acapella again. So here it is. If you don't like me, it's fine. I could go back to my mom's house and just chill on my Xbox live. People know the truth, but they don't say it. Look at DMX, he was a wanted man, now he's saved by the saviors. I can't tell people what to do, they can only tell me what to do. If I'm not my own boss, then who the fuck I'm supposed to take orders to? I wish everybody could be like what was back in the 70s where you didn't have to necessarily judge another person by the contact of their character. Now people just assume that you're a bad guy because you got tattoos or you did something in your past that represents you. But that's a changed man. Everybody is every that's a changed man. Everybody has a new game plan. It's like playing a video game. You don't think about it, you just do it. Knowing that you're not even controlling the people. That's just AI intelligence telling you to throw it. Yeah, I'm good in real life and in video games. I can beat you senseless with the stick or I can beat you senseless with the ball in my hand. It doesn't really matter. I conquered them all. You can't even tell me that I never met Tupac Shakur. Now I never met him, but I wanted to. You know, I was five years old, so who the hell was going to drive all the way to the mall for me to sign his autograph and say, thank you, dude. It's not me. I wish I could meet Biggie Smalls. I wish I could meet Selena. I wish I could meet Aaliyah. But obviously, those legends died for a good cause while I'm still breathing. You know, this whole police brutality, it's wishy-washy. Can't really tell anybody to the... Can't tell anything to the cops because they won't believe you. Like a drug addict. Man, that's post traumatic stress. That's post traumatic stress disorder right there. Everybody has that in the hood. Got to keep my Glock with me because I don't know if a buster is gonna try to shoot at me or just trying to harm me. Yeah, I got kids. It doesn't really matter. I'm trying to be a good father for them in the future. But the next thing you know, the past always comes back and haunt me, and I always have these flashbacks of me saying. Goodbye to my daddy. But I guess I didn't necessarily know that he was going to get hit by a car accident four hours before that. I didn't really know. I just woke up and heard the news. I didn't know how to take it at five years old, so I just stayed inside my room. Now we were living with my mom. is just day to day. Matter of fact, we all pray for the same mistakes. We don't really necessarily play for the same mistakes. But we try to bear ourselves each and every day. It's not because they're just killing black people. It's just because we're just so dominant in our race. Matter of fact, bitches, nigga, give me a plate. I don't really care if I'm Debo or that dude from life. You gonna eat that cornbread? I guess what I'm saying is life is life. You live it 10 years apart and you die. That's just it. Whether you make it big or you don't. You try or you succeed. You fell or you was a disappointment. Doesn't really matter. Because the point is, while they're dead, we still breathe and live and each and every day. We take life for granted because we make our own mistakes. We don't want to go to prison. I feel like prison is more of a, of a resort. You know, you go in there, you do your time, you come out better. Or sometimes you just go in there, do your time, and then you do 
and then you go out and re you repeat the same shit you did so you so you can go back in there because you do you can't fit with society society does not fit with you so you just do a, the most heinous crime you could think of so you could go back in the pen with with life without life I mean without parole life without parole so that's just asking for it or you could go out there you could go in there do your time come out and be a better man I've seen that shit happen in real life and I've seen also people who go out and fucking go back and fucking do stuff do stuff with their life or fucking probably repeat the same shit that they did it's 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 ugly. So what I'm trying to say is, fuck it. Give me a trash can. Matter of fact, I don't really have a plan. I'm just going to put the things in my car that I need and go back and drift off to the keys. There's no really where, there's nowhere where to go. But up. Obama's not in trouble. Obama's not in office no more. So why are we still... Holding up, why are we still holding? Up, why are we still holding on to this mindset that he's coming back? You can only serve four years, and that's facts. But I guess people are just ignorant. They just don't really see the bliss of my of my true ignorance. The definition of a black person is an ignorant person. Y'all don't really know that shit because y'all just one sided. People go back and forth like they don't know the truth. I guess what they say about black people is true. The more attention they get, the more wild they get. Not all, but some, you know, from the hood and shit. People asking me, how you stay so calm through all this? I said, it's happened before. Just look at the pattern. Or trace it back to you. And it makes all sense. It makes all the most sense again. I'm not a free person. I don't think so. I have to lock my door and make sure I have my pistol. Next thing you know, I have to make sure my eyes are open. So I can hear the sirens when police be driving. I be... Hypnotizing and I be paranoid. Got my motherfucking gun in my pocket, but they don't know that though. I say, hi, officer, how you doing? They look at me with a crazy face. I say, okay, yeah, whatever, fuck you too, my brain. That shit is insane. But you know how it goes, man. You live life. Nobody knows the answers. I wasn't there when slavery happened, but slavery is still going on in other countries. Believe me. I uh, I guess the only thing to say is live life the best way you can. Whether you make it big or not, it doesn't really matter. If you're working on a five job, it doesn't really matter. If you finish college and you didn't do shit and you get shit, it doesn't really matter. Experiences is what makes legends. And a lot of legends experience the wrong shit and that's why they take that's why they dig six six deep. It wasn't their fault. Their talent got to them. Or sometimes their talent got where they're at. If it wasn't for rapping, I don't know where the hell half of them motherfuckers be at. Or acting or whatever they, they, they were good at. Some just sell drugs in the corner get busted for that. But you know, it is what it is. I can't tell it. I can only live it. I wasn't there when slavery happened, like I said. I'm just another victim. I check all my boxes. Check, 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 check. But I'll check all these boxes don't necessarily mean that you're done yet. You still have to talk to them in a fair manner. Don't give them a right to suspect something suspicious because you're in the car with your kids and they only 
watching the TV on the playlist. Niggas don't even know that you held that you held without bond because you shot two officers and you fled the scene. And now the kids are screaming, Daddy, what you shot the police for? He says, shut up. I'm driving. Knowing that there was a G knowing that there was a GPS system in your car that they tagged it. That's why when you see officers touch your car, it's a little warning to tell you whatever happened to them, they already got you on video camera and everything. But you know, it is what it is. I can't really give out all the free information. Next thing you know, you won't have to see me tomorrow because you already know I'm booked on everything. So tell me the facts. Tell me what you want to know. I can't tell you whether you're going to die, be broke, or be rich. The only thing I can tell you is be yourself and be true to yourself. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise because they don't even know the answers themselves. But I guess it is what it is. People talk bullshit and you want to fucking believe everything that they hear. I don't. I was raised different. My grandpa served in World War Three. He served in Vietnam. He, he did everything that he wanted to believe. He came out unscratched. Not a bone broken in his body. But he died of cancer because it was just natural causes. Now we hear 20 later is going in the same office. Now we elected Donald Trump as president. What the fuck? Yeah, I was thinking. Sure, y'all hated Bush. But at least Bush wasn't that bad. Trump is just a big faggot with no fucking sack. So he goes around saying... Hump. Let me repeat that. Bush wasn't really that bad. Trump is just a big faggot with no dick going around saying... Hold my dick because he don't got no click. So everything he knows is out his dick. Sometimes he just wanders around. I think I think he suffers from multiple CTE because he was just fucking around. I don't really care. I never met the man in person. I'm pretty sure way before this he was a pretty good person. Everybody vibed to Vince. Nah, not Vince. Everybody vibed to Trump. You remember when he was in WWE giving all those a million dollars away? Now look where he's at. Fucking shit up already. But they're not going to let... The United States is not going to let them do that because presidents don't really have power. They're just there to direct traffic. Say if they want new schools... New pavements, whatever. They sign a bill and then that's it. It's sent out to send it. And then months later they start recorrection. They start driving and, and and all that shit. Fixing buildings and creating new roads for the children so they can walk so they don't have to walk on that bushes. But you know, it is what it is. I can't tell it. I can only spill it. So next thing you know, people are not even shy on camera. They just don't want to admit it. Yeah, I was shy at first for doing this, but now I feel human. I feel like I can rap about anything or freestyle about anything, and y'all people believe it. Seeing is believing. Paying attention is paying attention. You have to pay attention to pay attention. Get it? You have to pay attention to get attention. So, attention is a price that we all have to pay. I'm just doing it the smart way. Y'all doing it the dumb way. I lay low. I don't really go out that much. And if this quarantine is over, I'll still be in the same building, same address, same job, same car as always. I bet you when this quarantine is over, y'all going to be having fun right back out again. It's cool. It's an American way, but it's not my way, because I wasn't born in this bullshit. Y'all are. So, whatever y'all do is going to affect y'all hard. 
I'm just gonna lay low. And hopefully when hopefully forty when forty years pass by, I'm still at sixty nine saying fuck the free world. But you know, it is what it is. I can't really lie. I don't have no kids. I do, but it's just for my freestyle. I'm gonna be me until the day that I die. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, uh, spaz out the notification bell, and until next time, take care of yourself and each other. And around, what time is it? It's almost 2 o'clock, so around 4, around 4, I'm probably going to give a tutorial on uh, uh, on the video game I've been playing. You know, give you the rundown on, you know, how the thing works and what to look forward for if you do have this game. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Like, share, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.